Oh. Interesting. Oh, wow. That's cool. Oh, yeah. Skull, scapula, sternum, ribs, humerus, vertebrae, ulna, radius. Oh, hey guys. I'm doing a little bit of research for my channel. Biomechanics, very important. Now, I don't know that much about biomechanics. That's why I have uh, uh, the biomechanics for dummies. But the question is, is it important to know about biomechanics, whether you're a coach or a player? So here's the thing. I do think it's very valuable for coaches to know about biomechanics or any other subjects that can help you become a better coach. See, I think it's important to know about biomechanics. I think it's important to know about physics. It's important to know about psychology. It's important to know about how the human body works so you can be the best coach you can be. Now, do you have to be a genius in those subjects? Absolutely not. Now, the beautiful thing about YouTube is that we have all this super slow motion footage available for free and anyone can do their own research. You can make the slow motion footage even slower if you have uh, some kind of software, editing software that you're using. So everybody has the evidence how high level tennis is played on their own hands and they can do a lot of research and apply it to their own teaching methodologies. So yes, I do think for coaches, biomechanics is important as are the other things that I mentioned previously. But here is the super important question. How about you guys, the players? Do you need to know anything about biomechanics to be able to improve in tennis? Or if you're a beginner, do you need to know about biomechanics in order to learn tennis? Absolutely 100% not. Now think about this scenario. You come to me for a lesson and I tell you, hey, we're not gonna hit any balls. First, you gotta read this book for a half hour and then we get started. And you would leave, you wouldn't even take the lesson. You would say, Nick, you're crazy. I'm not in school, I came here to play tennis. And that's exactly what tennis is. It's a game, intuitive game for that matter, that you don't learn by studying about physics or biomechanics, you learn it by playing tennis. Come back to me, right down the middle, come on. Good work, a beautiful job, good, good. Now, if you happen to take lessons, the coach will be super important to you because the coach needs to be able to explain the technique that you're trying to learn in a simple manner so that even a five-year-old can understand it. If I start reciting things out of this book, you're also going to leave the court. You're not going to take any more lessons with me because it's going to go right over your head. You're not going to understand it. So the tennis coaches need to make it very simple for you to understand tennis technique. So when you start hitting balls and you're applying the correct technique and also What's very important is how the ball is behaving that's coming off your string. So that relationship needs to be there. The technique that you're applying and if the ball is going consistently over the net and inside the baseline. And now you're going to start developing muscle memory because you're going to start repeating these movements over and over again. As you keep practicing, as you keep repeating these strokes, the more reps you get, the less you're gonna be thinking how you're making a stroke happen, the less you're gonna be thinking about technique. And as you keep improving, as you keep getting more reps in, the less you're gonna think about how you're making a stroke happen, or in other words, you're gonna think less about your technique. Eventually, you're not gonna think about your technique at all, and you're gonna play automatic tennis, what I call possessing automatic strokes, or in other words, playing intuitively. And as I said in the beginning of the video, you don't need any knowledge of biomechanics to be able to become a high level player. How do I know this? Well, I know this because I taught a lot of juniors. Some started at five years old. And of course, you can't teach a five-year-old biomechanics. Everybody knows that. And yet some of these five-year-olds turn out to be professional level players. So what that means is that when you start tennis, you shouldn't preoccupy your brain with these complicated terms. Tennis technique should be simple. For example, you need to have the correct grip. You need to have the correct timing. You need to have the correct take back. These are fundamental elements of tennis strokes. This is what you absolutely have to learn. But when it comes to biomechanics, complicated terms, this is something that you have to get out of your head. And if you don't, this can halt your tennis improvement or even worse, if you're a pretty good player already and you start obsessing on biomechanics, this can actually make you worse. And guys, you know what the beautiful thing is about having automatic strokes or playing intuitively? Is you have this pride inside of you because you know you put in all the work. I spent my life playing tennis. I invested my entire livelihood 
and to playing tennis every day and that's why I turned into a high level player and it's all the repetition that I did on a daily basis that allow me to play tennis intuitively without thinking about anything for example I'm gonna line up to hit a serve and I'm gonna take you through my thought process I don't think about anything technical at all I'm not even warmed up and take a look I'm gonna rip this serve and I'm most likely gonna get it in why because I've hit millions of them Okay guys, uh, I actually missed that one and you should definitely not do what I just did, hit a hard serve without warming up. I do feel it in my shoulder, so make sure that you warm up before you play tennis. Don't be dumb like I am, but to prove my point, I'm going to do it another time. I'm going to hit a serve and I'm not going to think about anything except where I'm going to aim this serve and there's a high likelihood that a serve is going to go in. Why? Because I hit a million of them. All right, there you go. And that was an ace. So there's the proof, guys. Absolutely no thought process went into this serve. I didn't think about anything except where I was going to hit it. How am I able to do that? It's because I did all the work as a junior. Now, my dad taught me the right fundamentals on the serve. And once the fundamentals were set, it was all about repetitions. Now some of you guys know that I'm from Split Croatia and my dad was the coach at the tennis club Split and he had the privilege of coaching Goran Ivanisevic, in my opinion, the greatest server of all time. And I asked my dad once, hey dad, what is the secret to Goran's serve? Why is his serve so much better than everybody else? And my dad told me that there's absolutely no secret whatsoever. Goran would simply practice more serves than anybody else. So every single day Goran would go on the court with a basket and he would practice his serve. Interestingly, Ivo Karlovic did it the same way. So guys, learn the fundamentals, whatever the stroke may be, and what tennis is all about is repetitions and hard work. And guys, the beautiful thing about it is that not only are you going to be really proud of yourself, your confidence is going to be sky high because you put in all the reps, but also you're not going to have to think about absolutely anything. It is the most beautiful way to play tennis. And the only way you're going to get there is if you set the right fundamentals and work hard. And biomechanics, they're going to confuse you. They're going to make tennis more complicated and therefore you shouldn't spend a lot of time worrying about complicated things such as biomechanics. Remember, tennis is simple. If a five-year-old can turn into a professional level player without knowing anything about biomechanics or about complicated things, that five-year-old learns tennis in a very simple way. If that is the case, this is an undeniable fact, then you should approach your tennis improvement in the same way.